Thanks for watching Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I bring you with me. I bring you with me walking towards a giant ginger plant I have growing in my backyard here in Florida. I grew this from a cutting. Roughly, eh, I'm going to estimate based on my kid's age and when I got the cutting I would say roughly 18 years ago. And uh, it's come into fruition for sure. You can see by these beautiful remnants of the flowers. It's interesting, they actually smell great. Little little life hack for you. The ginger flower stems are amazing. Like you bring these in and you put them in like a potpourri thing or whatever. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Free advice. But yeah, they have these beautiful flowers. I've highlighted them in some of my videos. You know, mine kind of takes a beating. It's got salt water sprayed on its leaves relentlessly, and that's why you see this burnage. But you know, you don't see the burnage on the new stuff, and it actually looks pretty cool. So why not? You have to kind of focus on that. I kind of focus on, that is so cool. Now, how do you transplant it? Well, you dig up some of the roots. You know, you've seen ginger in the store maybe, the grocery store. By the way, you could just get a root from the grocery store and plant that. Or you could get ginger from the links in the description. I'll leave some description, some uh, links to, you know, where to get it, etc. If you want to grow your own ginger, that's probably the easiest way. Do it, I'd pick my certain variety because they come in a lot of varieties. This is the giant kind, one of the giant kinds. So I planted it back here and I literally just buried it and then I watered it and then I left it there. And uh, since then, the original ones that I planted, you can see down there, they've died off and now these two are new growth from that root down there. So, you know, since the roots go dormant so easily, I think you could just plant it and water it, and it really is about it. And then, you know, like I said, that the salt water is a little bit problematic for it, but it even survives the level that I have in my yard. So that's a simple and quick stop into the idea of ginger growing. Why wouldn't you grow ginger in your backyard? Wouldn't you like to have some, uh, I don't know, ginger ale? <laughs> Thanks for watching your backyard. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I give you a new video. Thank you.